All right, guys, more Need for Speed leaks. Uh, I just want to say, uh, mm, obviously take it with a grain of salt. We don't know if it's actually true or not. It's not looking good. I mean, come on, they're going to remove drift racing. Like, it's it's already set up. Like, I know they're switching studios, but come on, man. Like, it's like their handling model is already pretty drifty, and they're bringing back speed. Anyway, we're going to read this freaking. I'm going to show the freaking leak. Clip. It's like three seconds. It's like a Chevy Bel Air jumping hitting there's like pedestrians walking not giving a, a fuck basically about what's going on eagles wings come out of the car like a red crash cam kind of a thing you can see like the anime effects coming out for like the nos or like the this the exhaust whatever's going on there um obviously people are predicting it's about a year old so you know, you can't really like, like, oh, like we're so close to the launch. Like, it looks like crap. If it's old, it's old. You know, it, also we haven't seen any like the anime style pop bang. Anyway, let's let's read some of this stuff. So I chatted with my buddy over at EA again. See previous I was able to get some more info. So cartoon graphics. Here's your car getting cartoon eagle win eagle wings before you hit a jump. So here's the picture again. Yeah, cool. Like if it just pops up and goes, like, still like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not about it. Another example here with the screen getting all glitchy. Um, I will post this again. It's kind of just the video paused basically. Um, so here's what gets me. Car culture gameplay, no drag racing. Obviously he did not have drag racing. It had drag tires and everybody would freaking drag outside of the freaking uh, <laughs> the garage. But you know, 2015 added drag racing Payback had drag racing. Even go back to underground, drag racing. Like, I like I get, I hear people that say like, oh, it's boring, whatever. Like, but like, it's been a pretty big part of Need for Speed. Like, it's just another style of racing. Like, I don't understand why it's not there. No drift events. Okay, come on. I know that 2015 we just replayed. We just did a Need for Speed marathon. 2015 was great in terms of drifting. Freaking Payback had drifting. Um, did it? Yeah, yeah, payback had drifting. Um, heat had drifting. It wasn't a lot. It, they, they had more stuff during the day, but like the nighttime drifting, there was only what, like three events maybe, if I remember correctly. Um, and it just wasn't, it wasn't really fleshed out like it could have been. Um, I'm sad to see that there's no drift event. Like, if this is true, if this is actually real, no drift events, that's bad. That's, that's bad especially with the break the drift are they like completely redoing the handling model like what's going on here speed cross returns which i mean cool i don't really i mean it's it's pretty much drifting around a circuit honestly is what speed cross is it's it's nothing it's nothing crazy so are are they just going back to like a solid racing only i i don't know man i don't know um, upgrade system simplified for the younger audience, similar to what Forza does, BAS rankings, but you can still find numbers. See, ugh, heat, 20, like what heck, what Ghost had done with, you know, especially in 2015 with having actual parts, you know, minus like when you were, have a road race with pistons in it, you know, whatever. But like having freaking intakes, exhausts, headers, freaking clutch, brakes, like, you know all the different parts of the car and and especially going to payback and having speed cars and then going to heat with engine swaps and all that stuff and for them to just kind of discard all that to make it appeal to younger audience that doesn't know anything about cars come on man yeah if, if they like really just get rid of i mean they can still have you know engine swaps and all you know the engine modifications and still just give them like a number or letter ranking, I guess. But like, if they completely take it out and kind of go back to like what Payback did, it's going to be bad. Car meets I just, is, you know, what I, I'm curious about the most since this is going to be like a new feature. Menu based, enter car park, menu pops up, you scroll through cars and can swap them. You can bet on people and play an event. If you win, you get money, harder driver, more money. So it sounds like we can like get like an online underground like betting system like i'm gonna throw some bets up on patreon and y'all can come in and we can bet on who's gonna win i don't know i mean i don't know if you can spectate races like if you have an online race and like you know whatever two people like a face off or like six 
10, 12 people are going to race and you can like bet on who you think is going to win. I mean, and, and actually like, watch a live like replay cam, or, like a live or switch toggle between the racers. They would have to set up like cameras. And I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, some story elements, inclusive, feel like heat. Diversity is a big part of Need for Speed going forward. Strong female cultural representation in the new game. Um, I mean, they've kind of always been pretty diverse. I mean, you had Melissa in Underground. You had freaking Rachel in Underground, too. Like, Anna was in this. Like, I feel like Heat was more around Anna than anything else. Um, I, I don't know really what they're trying to go for there. Um, intro cutscene is a BMW doing donuts with outdoors. Has a Latin music flair like Heat. Supposedly, it's like a Miami-based thing again. Um, so we got a clapped-out Beamer that's missing its doors, which if it's doing donuts, it's like, all right, well, if it's missing doors and it's like, clapped out obviously like you just think of drift car so it's like why are there no drift events in the game you're not going to be doing street racing without doors you know what i mean like that doesn't make sense to me uh freaking content level support a year at most heavily dependent on sales and reviews we've all heard this before look how fast they dropped heat i'm sure it's because they can't ghost whatever initial level of content ideally it would be like heat at launch which if we think back to it like the actual story missions and heat we're very lacking. There wasn't a lot going on there. Other info. For those working on Need for Speed, less than half are ex-Ghost or old Criterion. The rest are fresh eyes on the franchise. Basically, not the Criterion from HP 2010 to Most Wanted 2012 um, or Ghost of Rivals Heat. Yeah, so it's pretty much all new people. Um, it's just like everybody's like, oh, well, Criterion did a good job. Yeah, but you figure that was what? 12, 13 years ago now. Goes guys might not be around still, you know. Um, key goal to grow the audience to a new gen of kids, young Need for Speed fans who grew up on other games with a soft reboot. Expecting older fans will buy it. I mean, not if you're gonna like get rid of drifting. I mean, drag was already canned in heat, but like we had it in payback 2015. They added it. Come on, man. Like it's not that hard. It's just straight line racing. Come on, just throw it in there. Got drag tires. I don't know, man. Like, I'm sure a lot of people feel like me. Like, this this new gen of kids, man. Like, I know a lot of you probably watch the channel, but like, y'all want everything dumbed down. Everything is like simple and easy, and like, oh my god, this is too hard. Like, if if we have to dumb down customizing engine parts and components that we've grown up with in cars, like, you know what I mean? Like, you should know the difference between. An intake, like a short ram, a cold air, headers, or uh, a freaking a Y pipe or a cat back. Like, but uh, like it seems like we got to dumb it down so it's just like exhaust. Like, you know, no headers, no downpipe, you know, no waste gates, not like nothing exhaust. Here you go. Make it simple. I don't know, man. Like, that, that would suck if that's what they do. Uh, moving train on the map. Wow, like we've had freaking the train in Underground that used to rip us a new one on the drag race. But, um, I mean, I don't... Moving train on the map, I guess, is cool. But, like, freaking we got, like, mods for Assetto Corsa where we have freaking Shotoko, the Wangan maps with freaking... They got a tram running now. Like, I, I don't know. Game will release this year. I don't know. I just saw another video of, like, people were talking about... Two guys were talking about it on, like, a podcast. And, uh... Just saying, like, oh, they're really, they're gonna push it to freaking December. Until the game is released and we learn about the world handling and customization features, the most fundamental elements of a good open world street racing game, IMO. All we're doing is speculating based on a few screenshots and leaks. Everyone needs to. <laughs> I mean, like, I get it, but like, if they're really cutting drifting and drag and trying to dumb it down, and I mean, come on, it's been what the longest we've ever had a Need for Speed in development three years now. And they got to push it back again. I mean, they worked on what Battlefield, and I think that's what delayed this. Like they they put too much time in Battlefield. Like I I didn't play it. I don't I don't play those games. But like I've heard like it was bad. So the fact that they put the time into that and it was that bad, I don't know, man. I mean, like come on, no drag, no drift, some flat upgrades, only your support. Like if all that's true, and the leak we've seen, and like I don't know, man. It's, it's not looking good. I mean, obviously they're leaks, but I mean it. it at this point, like, 
some of it's prop most likely true like i don't know i just i saw this today i was like man like we're already repping on recreation just because the demo was so bad at gamescom and and now this and most likely we're not going to hear about this game until probably like october november now if we're getting a december release like street x is is if they can add some sort of story element to it it's just going to be way better than this than than need for speed i uh i don't know obviously i'm gonna get it and play it for the channel i cover racing games as much as i want to like boycott need for speed and be like you know you guys are ruining the franchise like how can you go backwards like you ghost was a lot of people hate it on 2015 and then i saw like a lot of these reddit comments people were like oh my god like 2015 like they're making it look good or 2015 we might look back and be like oh yeah that was good like i've been saying that all along like, 2015 is my favorite like it had a good street racing underground feel it had every game everybody's like oh the cutscenes are corny like it's just it is what it is but like when you come down to it like that's the stuff we want not whatever this new game is going to be with this anime cartoon graffiti wings shooting out of your car like no, oh, nobody cares about that we're here to do some like illegal underground street racing and call it a day i don't want a freaking red bull fucking oh red bull gives you wings freaking jump a chevy bel-air off and fly away into the abyss I, come on man i don't know i'm just gonna ramble anyway guys freaking check out the other videos subscribe and, uh, I mean, we'll keep looking out for leaks and see what we get, you know, but I uh, need for speed 2022 is not looking, uh, not looking too good boys, but we're gonna, we're gonna wait for official gameplay and official reveal, but I don't know, man. <laughs>